Okay, good day to all grade 10 students of Pablo S. Villafuerte High School. Again, this is your science teacher, Sir Eduardo D. Malia Jr. And today we are going to continue the discussion about the reflection of light in a plain mirror. For now, this is the Science 10 Quarter 2, Module 12. So, our most essential learning competency, predict the qualitative characteristics, orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by plane and curved mirrors and lenses. So, for this module, our target, explain the law of reflection. Number two, e compare the actual height, width, in the distance from the mirror of the object with that of the image formed by the plane mirror. Number three, describe the image formed by plane mirror. Okay, plane mirror can be found almost everywhere. And we are keep on using that daily. It is typically made of glass with a shiny metal. Uh, plane mirror can be found almost everywhere. It is typically made up of glass with a shiny metal backing that reflects all the light that strikes it or that is made up of mercury, the back portion of the mirror. When a mirror reflects light, it forms an image. An image is a copy of an object that is formed by reflection. So, this is the example of mirror. Okay, before we proceed to the different activities, to the different exploratory activities, again, we are going to answer this, try these questions. For our direction, Read and analyze each statement carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, for number one, when light hits a smooth surface, it is blank. Letter A, bent around corners. B, polarized. C, reflected. D, refracted. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, the answer is... Okay, letter C, reflected. Okay, number two, the image in a plane mirror is always blank. A, erect but reversed. B, erect but not reversed. C. Inverted but reversed. Letter D. Inverted but not reversed. What is your answer? Okay, the correct answer is letter A. Erect but reversed. When you say reversed, that is laterally inverted. When you say laterally inverted, that when you raise your right hand, the image will be raising its left hand. That is reversed or laterally inverted. Number 3. What kind of image is formed by a plane mirror? Letter A. Real image. B. Virtual image. C. Multiple image. D, none of this. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, virtual image. Okay, as we go further with our discussion, uh, we can be able to identify what is the difference between real image and virtual image. Okay, for number 4, which of these is not the property of an image formed by a plane mirror? Letter A, the image obtained is virtual. B, the image is laterally, laterally inverted. Letter C, the image is erect. Letter D, the size of the image is smaller than the size of the object, uh, which is wrong among the four choices. Okay, the correct answer is, okay, letter D. Okay, number five, when the image of an object is seen in a plane mirror, the distance from the mirror to the image depends on blank. Letter A, wavelength of light used by, for viewing. Letter B, the distance from the object to the mirror. Letter C, the distance of both the observer and the object to the mirror. Letter D, the size of the image. The correct answer is, Letter B, the distance from the object to the mirror. Okay, let us now proceed to the next page. Okay, for our activity, okay, this is very, very simple. Activity, mirror, mirror on the wall, the man and the mirror. As you can see in the picture, there is no image. So, what will be the possible image? Okay, here is the possible image. Okay, instruction, stand in front of a plain mirror. Okay, number one, is there a reflection of light in the mirror? Yes or no? Okay, you may answer yes or no. Number two, what did you see when you look at the mirror? Okay, that is very simple. Number four, raise your right hand. What hand does your image raise? Okay, raise your right hand. What is the image? As you can see in my video, I am raising my right hand. But in my video, I am raising what? Okay, that is a clue. Okay, next. Number five, is your image erect or inverted? Okay, as you can see in my video again, the video is like a, a mirror. Am I inverted or am I erect? Number six, is it real or virtual? Okay, as we go further with this discussion, we can be able to identify what is real or we can explain what is real, what is virtual. So, continue watching this video. Okay, next activity, my image and me. Directions, analyze the nature of image formed by a plane mirror. As you can see, this is the object, you and your image. Now, if you move, of course, your image will also move. Oh, what is the size of the image formed by a plane mirror? Compare the size. Is it equal or the same? Oh, what type of image is formed by plane mirror? Is it virtual or 
real. Number three, where is the image of an object in a plane mirror? Or where is the location of the image? This is you. This is the mirror. This is the front of the mirror. So of course, the front of the mirror is facing towards you. And this is your image. Where is the image? Is it behind the mirror? In front of the mirror? Or within the mirror? What do you think? Here is the distance. The distance one. The distance of you. Your distance to the mirror. And the distance of image to the mirror. Okay, number four. Compare the distance of the man to the mirror and the distance of his image from the mirror. Okay, I hope you will find it correctly. Okay, keep this in mind. When light hits a smooth surface, light is reflected and an image is formed. An image is a copy of an object formed by reflection. When you say reflection, this is the bouncing of light rays when it hits a surface like a plain mirror. When we look at a mirror or any po polished metal or still pool of water, we can see our images because these objects are image reflecting objects. There are two types of images formed by reflecting surfaces. They are real and virtual images. Okay, when we say real, real image is always inverted. Oh, that is one clue. Real image is always inverted and is formed by actual rays of light. It appears in front of the mirror and can be projected on the screen. Virtual image is always erect and formed by apparent rays of light. Virtual image appears behind the mirror. Properties of an image formed by a plane mirror. Okay, what are the properties formed by a plane mirror? Number one, the image obtained is a virtual. When you say image form, what kind of image is formed in a plane mirror? That is virtual. Okay, properties of an image formed by plane mirror. Number one, the image obtained is virtual. The image is erect. The size of the image is same as the size of the object. Therefore, if your image in your mirror is, is smaller than you, that is not plain mirror. If the image is larger than you, you or the actual object, therefore that mirror is not a plain mirror. Because a plain mirror will always produce an image which is the same as the size of the object. The next one, the distance between the image obtained is same as the distance between the object from the mirror. If you are one meter away from the mirror, therefore your image is one meter behind the mirror. So the image is behind the mirror. Okay, let us now proceed to the law of reflection. Okay, as you can read in this part, the law of loss of reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray, the normal, and then the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Okay, we will explain that after reading this context. The ray of light approaching the mirror represented by an arrow is called incident ray. So this is the incident ray. The, is, the incident ray is a ray of light originated from the source. From the source of light. This incident ray touches the mirror touches the mirror assuming that this is the mirror and the mirror sends this ray of light back. So it, this is the reflected ray now. This is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. The ray of light which leaves the mirror is represented by an arrow pointing away from the mirror is called the reflected ray. So an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of the mirror is the normal line. So this is the da dotted line. This is imaginary. That's why this is represented by dotted line or broken line because this is imaginary. Actually, when we look at the mirror, we cannot see a line like this. So this is an imaginary line. This is a normal, what, what we call as normal line. When you say perpendicular, an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of the mirror, when you say perpendicular, it formed 90 degrees. So directly perpendicular to the mirror. Or the angle formed between the incident and the normal, the angle of incidence. So this is the angle of incidence. The, the incident ray and then the normal, it forms an angle. So this is the so-called incident ray. And the angle formed between the reflected ray and the normal is called angle of reflection. So represented by... R. So, as we can see in this uh, equation, the angle of incidence and reflection are always measured from the normal and not from the mirror. If the angle of incidence is 300 degree, then oh, this is 30. So, when the angle of incidence is 30 degree, then the angle of reflection will also be 30 degrees. So, correction, this is 30 degrees. Or reflection of light follows the loss of reflection. So, just remember of this law, Law of loss of reflection, angle of incidence, this is this one, 
is always equal to the angle of reflection. The incident ray, the normal, and then the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. So this is the plane. The incident ray, the normal, the reflected ray all lie on the same plane. We have now another activity. How do I look? Direction. Analyze the given pictures below and answer the questions that follow. Which of the given pictures show an image of a plane mirror? So between the two A and B. So this is very easy to answer. This one is enlarged. So you have now a hint. What about this one? Which of the given pictures shows an image of a plane mirror? Number two. Which of the mirrors has an image that is erect and virtual? Okay, number three. Consider the diagram below, this one. Which of the which one of the angles A, B, C, or D is the angle of incidence among the angle A, B, C, D? Which is the angle of incidence? When you say incident ray, that is to the direction of the arrow is towards the mirror, and the reflected ray is away from the mirror. So which is the angle among the four angles? Okay, number four. A ray of light is incident towards a plane mirror at an angle of 30 degrees with a mirror surface. What will be the angle of reflection? So, we are pertaining here is the, the 30 degrees is with the mirror surface. Therefore, this is this one. So, this is the 30 degrees. So, the question is, what will be the angle of reflection? What will be the angle of incidence? So, if this is 90 degrees, 90 degrees, so this is 30 what do you think is the measurement of the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection? What is the relationship between the angle of incidence and reflection? Is it equal? Is it greater than? Is it less than? Okay, good luck in answering this activity. Okay, reflect. Okay, next. Sharing and wanting time. I have learned that. I'm sure that you learned from this video. And share your learning. You may post or you may comment down here in our comment section your learning. Oh, and another one I want to know more about. You have any questions? I'm going to answer your questions. Just type your your questions, or you may message me directly in my messenger to all my students. Okay, reinforcement to depend what you have learned in this module. Accomplish the following task. Number one, light is incident upon the surface of a mirror at an angle of 50 degrees. Sketch the reflection of the ray. So you have to draw. Number one. Number two. You can watch a video about reflection of light through this link. So this is the link. Let us now proceed to the word list. The following terms are used in this module. The following terms are used in this module. Image, a reproduction of an original object through the use of light. Mirror, any polished surface that exhibits reflection. Real image, image appears in front of the mirror. Could be projected onto a screen. So reflection, bouncing back of light from surface. Virtual image, an image formed by light that does not come from the image location. Image appears behind the mirror. Let us now proceed to the assessment. So you have to answer these questions. Number one, what law states that angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection? Letter A, law of inertia. Letter B, law of reflection. Letter C, law of acceleration. Letter D, Charles law. Number two, if you stand three feet in front of a plane mirror, how far away would you see yourself in the mirror? Letter A, 1.5 feet. Letter B, 3 feet. Uh, letter C, 6 feet. Letter D, 12 feet. Okay, number 3. Which of the following best describes the image formed by a plane mirror? Letter A, virtual, inverted, and enlarged. Letter B, real, inverted, and reduced. Letter C, virtual, upright, and the same size as object. Letter D, real, upright, and same size as object. Okay, number four. This is number four. When the image of an object is seen in a plane mirror, the distance from the mirror to the image depends on blank. Letter A, the wavelength of light used for viewing. Letter B, the distance from the object to the mirror. Letter C, the distance of both the observer and the object to the mirror. Letter D, the source of light. Okay, number five. All of these are properties of an image formed by a plane mirror except letter A, the image obtained is virtual. Letter B, the image is erect. The, the size of the image is bigger than the size of the object. Letter D, the distance between the image obtained is obtained is same as the distance between the object from the mirror. Okay, again, this is Sir Eduardo D. Maggi Jr. Thank you for watching. And, okay, the next video we are going to tackle about the reflection of light in a curved mirror. So, we are going to tackle in this. is all about the two kinds of curved mirror. We have the convex and then the concave mirror okay good luck to everybody and thank you for watching